Hi, I'm Deacon Chris Dorr from Christ the King's Sister Parish, St. Francis in Little Italy, for this week, the 14th week of Ordinary Time, Monday. In today's first reading, the Lord visits Jacob in a dream and promises abundance in the land and in offspring. He says beautifully soothing words of comfort, protection, fidelity, and love. Know that I'm with you. I'll protect you. I'll never leave you. Jacob awakens and is awestruck by God's presence with him in that spot. He's so moved by God's attentiveness that he affirms this place as a gateway to heaven, even memorializing it with a stone and renaming it Bethel. On the surface, it seems that Jacob is filled with tremendous faith. In fact, this biblical encounter is often held up as an example of tremendous faith in God. But then Jacob starts placing limitations on his faith. He vows his faith will only be upheld if God protects him, only if God gives him food and shelter, only if God allows him to return home safely. Seems that Jacob's faith here depends a whole lot on what God is able to do for him, and that despite all that God has promised, all of those beautiful signs of fidelity, they just aren't enough for Jacob to believe unconditionally sounds a whole lot less like faith and more like an ultimatum for God. Often our faith works like Jacob's, and we find ourselves bargaining with God, willing to accept his will only when it aligns with what we desire. Because after all, don't we know best for ourselves? The notion of ifs when it comes to our relationship with God is about manipulation, about placing ourselves above God when we make God's grace about what he can do for us rather than our surrender to his will, we put a price tag on that grace. God doesn't want to bargain with us. He's not after a business transaction. He desires us completely, our faith, our fidelity, and in return, he will certainly bestow upon us the countless blessings, just as he promised Jacob, even if we place limitations on his goodness. Throughout this week's reflections, faith and action are overarching themes. I hope you'll join me each day to reflect upon God's mercy and how faith, without all those ifs, compel us to action, compel us to service in spreading the gospel.